There is one plugin that can be called the most stylish pop-up builder for Elementor. Yes, the Jet pop-up plugin can rightfully take first place because, well, it's the best one. The voice behind this video will do her best to dispel your possible doubts and at the same time demonstrate the plugin's functionality so you'll be stuck by the number of Jet pop-up features. And this is Julia from Crocoblock, and let's get to this! So why is Jet Pop-Up so unique? First of all, everything is drag and drop is the key feature of the Jet Pop-Up plugin. You can easily use Elementor widgets to create the needed layout and add content to it. Secondly, triggers and conditions. The plugin has the needed set of events to decide when your pop-ups will appear on the page. It can be set on opening or at a certain point when scrolling the page. And moreover, you will be able to set timers and dates when the pop-up blocks are about to appear on the page. What's even cooler, the pop-up can be attached to anything on your website. You can select any widget, button, etc. Attach any of the created pop-ups, set the trigger, and make the pop-up appear, let's say, when a user hovers over an Add to Wishlist button. Besides, you'll have a chance to display pop-ups according to your needs only for the specific pages using multiple conditions. Last but not least, with the Jet Pop-Up plugin, you're not limited to some designs as there are flexible and versatile options for pop-up customization including animation effects to catch even more attention. At the same time, we provide a decent library of pop-ups for those of you who don't want to build it from scratch. And there is also one feature we've added to the 2.0 version, but stay tuned, we will get back to it a bit later. For now, let's talk a bit about presets. In the Jet Pop-Up Presets library, you can select the pre-designed pop-ups that can be used as presets for your new pop-ups. Generally speaking, we made a point of providing you with both functional and beautifully designed pop-ups. At the same time, you can customize any preset of your choice by adding or deleting certain elements and also build your own pop-ups using the plugin's powerful functionality. To be honest, I think nothing speaks better than the actual demonstration. So now let me show you the quick process of creating a pop-up to prove that these are not just some words. Of course, once you install and activate the Jet Pop-Up plugin, you'll be able, first of all, to pick one of the pre-designed pop-ups from the library. Here you can filter them by category. Content type. And also by date, name and popularity. And there is nothing else to say. To install the pop-up, you just click the install button. It's really that simple. To build one from scratch, just click Create New Pop-Up. Add a name. Also, you can pick a layout preset and proceed to the Elementor editor. Since I picked a preset, I already have some elements here, like a couple of headings that I will change right away. and a button. I'm going to delete this one and add a pop-up action button. Of course, I will set a button text and choose an action type. And there are six different options and I will pick the first one, link, and also add a link that leads to the promotions page. 
Secondly, we need to style the pop-up. To access the pop-up general and styling settings, hit the gear-shaped icon in the left bottom corner. I will not touch the settings yet and proceed right to the style tab. There are tons of options and, for the sake of time, I won't be covering the styling process as we already have a nice long pop-up creation video available on our channel. And basically, I will change the background color so it matches the website's color scheme, make the size a bit smaller, add the padding, round the corners of the container, and also set a bit different icon for the close button. And once I customized the rest of the elements, including the pop-up action button, I will finally proceed to the general settings. Here you can pick any animation effect, open event, and adjust the rest of the options. But I am not done yet. Now it's time to define the display conditions. You can do it right from this page or just hit update and go back to the previous one. Right here you will be able to both adjust the needed settings and also set visibility conditions. I will make this pop-up appear only on the front page. So here is the front end. And once I start scrolling, the pop-up appears. The link set as the action type works well, and now I am redirected to the promotions page. And here comes the part with the secret feature I mentioned at the beginning. The Jet Pop-up 2.0 is compatible with Gutenberg now. It means that now you're free to build your awesome pop-ups both with Elementor and WordPress block editors. The process is the same as the whole Jet Pop-up functionality is available for Gutenberg as well. Simply pick block editor when creating a pop-up and add or adjust the needed elements. I will create the same pop-up I showed in the previous part, so there will be also a pop-up action button with the same text, action type and a link and actually with the same styling settings. Besides, next to the block style button will be the JET pop-up one to access the general settings, allowing you to change the animation effect, open event, and set a close button icon. Moreover, there will be the same set of styling options for the container itself, close button, and overlay styles. And of course, there is also the Edit Conditions button to determine where your pop-up will be shown. As a finishing touch, let me include the pop-up on the shop page this time. On the front end, the pop-up won't show up on the rest of the website except for the included page. And this will be it for today's overview. Let us know in the comments what's your favorite Jet pop-up feature. And if you haven't tried it yet, then don't hesitate to get the plugin and see it in action. As always, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.